Wow. Look at this camera. Hey guys! So, I'm just gonna film a little bit. I have a new iPhone! And already I can tell a huge difference between the 5C and the 6S. Um, but this is a preemptive for Monday. Oh my god, what just happened? Um, so, let's go down below. And we had a little mistake. Um, and today has been really, so today is Friday. Uh, it's the first day of July and today has been just like anxiety filled. Already I can tell the lighting is shit. And this camera is still beautiful. I'm so glad that I got this new camera. So I'm gonna go clean up this mess. We have a little boop a da boop. Hi mommy. Look up here. Hi, can you say hello? No? Okay, cool. Um see you guys tomorrow. Also, really random side note, you know you're a couponer when you have all the expired coupons that you can't send off to military bases. Good morning! It is sun Sunday. It's the day before the 4th of July! What is this? Um, so I'm kind of doing daily little vignettes and then adding them to the Monday video because I'm that cool. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a cool update. Of course, my bed is not made, my hair is decent, and my post-it notes are the best thing in the world. Um, so if you have anxiety, any mental health issues, or like me, I was diagnosed with ADHD as a child, um, I would always lose to-do lists, always things like that. I love I love them. I love them so much. They're so easy. And like I said um, in my last video, like I see them every morning because I go and I grab my coffee. And this is not a sponsor. I was at LA Book Fest and I want a free KTLA mug. Um, and this is like, it's really sturdy and really big. And now it's my favorite mug. Um, but I, I go and grab those post it notes every single morning and I am ecstatic about them. So I might be going to Macy's later for some clearance shopping, um, maybe the Dollar Tree. Let's, let's see where the day takes us. I hope you guys are having a grand day and I hope to see you soon. Hey, so we are walking outside and we are walking, walking, walking. And um, it might be a little breezy, so I apologize if it's a little hard to hear me, but um, today I'm really like focusing on forcing myself outside. Um, and I know I'm not agoraphobic and which I'm very thankful for and I've, I've had um, people that I know that are agoraphobic and you know it's very hard for them to even step outside uh, but one of the best things is sometimes with anxiety and depression you just don't want to leave your bed um, and so today is a good day I'm feeling it so I'm forcing myself out of my house. I'm going to a Macy's and I am gonna go bra shopping because they have a good clearance on bras and I need a new one. Overshare? TMI? I don't think so. Whoa, was that a success? Macy's is having 4th of July clearance and you know how I like it, y'all. Um, so I got a, a new piece of lingerie. Um, yeah, it's a super uber duper success. Hey, so like I said, tomorrow's the 4th of July and, um, which is pretty big. Uh, but I love dressing up pinup style. And if you've seen my Instagram, um, you know that I kind of rock it. Um, more of a subtle pinup, not the full head of hair, but more kind of like a boyish, tomboyish pinup style. But the problem is, just a sec, when you have too many headscarves to choose between and some random socks. But it's like, which headscarf do I use for my outfit tomorrow? <laughs> Hashtag first world problems, maybe? Happy 4th of July, babies. I will be posting this video later. Um, today is a good day, mental health wise. I'm about to go not step in water. I'm about to go and hang out in my friend's pool. It's gonna be 
great. I am, ooh, also an upstyle. Hey guys, it's the, oh, my end of the 4th of July. I know it's only 8 p.m., but I do have to work tomorrow, and so I got to hang out at my friend's pool for a little bit. That was really nice. I think my island, oh wow, my eyeliner still lasted. Very impressed. Um, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy and health, mentally healthy 4th of July. Um, this 4th of July can also be big with people who have pets, but mental health of pets are still, wow, hair perfect. The mental health of pets can be very draining. Um, so tonight, uh, if you watch this video, remember to give those pets some extra love, extra treats. I know Maeve was having some issues last night and she's normally not like I'm going to snuggle in bed with you. She'll sit on my lap, but she was in bed with me the entire night. Just purred and I felt really bad. People around my neighborhood have been blowing crap up for about a month now, but it wasn't as bad. And so I'm really worried about tonight. And I know that my grandmother's dog, she usually give him like half a sleeping pill, um, like a doggy melatonin or whatever, because he would get nuts. So remember the mental health of your pets, but also remember those people who have, um, have come back from situations who have PTSD and fireworks can be very jarring for those people. And so if you live with someone with PTSD that is affected by fireworks, remember to give them lots of love. To, but if they need space remember to give them space as well ask my one rule with mental health is ask how you uh, or, um, just find out how that person wants to be treated when it comes to their mental health um, so yeah just have a safe and mentally healthy 4th of July um, keep water handy and you know 911 is your best friend if there is a fire um, but Love you guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this new format of the video. And until next time, guys, slancha.